great couch co-op games are few and far between. But 2018 brought us several titles tailor-made for local cooperative play, including the undersung Unravel 2 and Prison Break Adventure A Way Out. The indie puzzle platformer Degrees of Separation is the latest game in this trend, offering gorgeous picture book graphics, two-player co-op, and a story written by Icewind Dale veteran Chris Avalone. But how well does it actually play? And is it enough to get you up off the couch and, well, onto your friend's couch? Or vice versa? Ember awoke to a distant roar, like a great wind. Her dreams, usually warm and bright, had taken on the chill of ice and azure. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and this is our review of Degrees of Separation. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Degrees of Separation is Norwegian developer Moondrop's third foray into the world of 2D puzzles, following up on colorful side-scrollers Kesper's Keep and Amphora. Their experience is evident in their newest titles' polished visuals and thoughtful puzzles. The star of the show, though, is the innovative mechanic at the heart of gameplay. Players take control of Rhyme and Ember, using their respective abilities to freeze and heat the environment in order to collect scarves that open up new areas. The story is pretty standard fairy tale fare. There's some stuff about a king, a dragon, and the aforementioned knitted neckwear. A narrator, voiced by Kira Buckland of Near Automata, carries the story forward, but can sometimes be a little persistent. Working together, Ember moved up and over as Rhyme froze the steam from the vents so she could pass. We know we just did that. But the focus is really on protagonist Rhyme and Ember. It's a classic tale of two lovers separated by a magical barrier that sometimes explodes. Their evolving relationship is expressed through changes in the primary gameplay mechanic, which becomes an extended metaphor for their romantic back and forth. Balancing their worlds just right, Rhyme took to the air. But even more than before, he welcomed the feeling of flight Ember gifted him. And this is where the game really shines, in its creative game mechanic and approach to puzzles. Rhyme and Ember's effect on the environment allows them to freeze water, light lanterns, make snowballs, and extinguish fires making for some unique and inventive challenges. To mix things up, players are granted one new ability while in different areas, with a personal favorite being a coat that suppresses environmental effects, adding a whole new dynamic. The exploding magical barrier, on the other hand, can be a little frustrating, especially when your teammate just wants to mess with you. It's kind of a shame that these abilities weren't cumulative, allowing for more complicated puzzles and maybe even multiple solutions. Even so, the challenge level is ideal, providing a mix of easy and difficult puzzles and making you scratch your head without risk of sudden rage quit. You also don't have to collect every scarf to progress, although what are you doing being so lazy? A fast travel option allows players to conveniently backtrack. The weakest point in the game might be Rhyme and Ember themselves. Even as their relationship grows, they remain pretty generic, Frost Guy and Warm Girl, on a desperate mission to collect scarves in a castle with no stairs. It's difficult to avoid comparisons here with the fantastic Unravel 2. Oddly, I felt more for that game's balls of yarn than I did for Team Rember. The detail and visual storytelling in Unravel 2 also arguably have one up on degrees of separation. Having said that, Degrees of Separation is a welcome addition to the co-op puzzle scene. Released on Valentine's Day, it's perfect for couples who want to game and chill, with puzzles that are best talked out aloud and room for mistakes that nonetheless bring a lot of laughs. Moondrop has promised online co-op in the near future, and the game also offers a single-player mode, which allows players to switch between characters and asks them to follow behind. But with a game this much fun to play together, the couch is really the way to go. They opened it to the sky and let the beast free. The wind buffeted them as the dragon spread its wings and took flight. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.